Hey folks, this is going to be my video on how to assemble the um, horizontal uh, radar design that I have for the motor using uh, expanding on Ian's uh, design. So I've printed all the parts out here. This will just be a quick way to do it. I guess I've got the, the outer section here, the radar ring. This one's the section. This is the model that has the hole drilled in the top. There's a version that you can glue as well. The drive shaft. A smaller hole in the top where you screw in the radar bottom section with a sort of an inside you can sort of see where it's flattened to, to hit the to tighten up against the shaft of the motor what I'm calling the little collar piece um, the actual outer rounded part which I've reinforced here a little bit from the previous videos uh, what else have I got here uh, just a little section of the uh, of the dome to show you how it mounts and I have a pile of screws over here some uh, m3 50 millimeter M3 uh, 10 millimeter, 8 millimeter, and some nuts. Oh, and lastly, I've printed, I'm holding the motor in my hand. I'll put the links in the, uh, in the message. This is the motor most of us are using, and uh, the 3D printed mounting plate on the front. So to start, I've glued, uh, glued, screwed. You only really need to put two screws in here. You don't need to put in all four, but uh, these would be your M8 screws, two of those to screw the mounting plate onto the front of the motor. To make your lives easier, I'm going to suggest putting the shaft on now. So find the flattened part on your motor and the flattened part inside here, and it'll be a tight fit, which is good. Um, you can always put a set screw uh, on there. Maybe I'll do a design with that later. Uh, then there are three holes in the shaft. I've already put the screws in here. One, two, three that are going to hold this mounting plate. There are three corresponding holes in here. So line it up, should slide on and fit nice and clean inside. These are three M10s. I'm gonna screw those in and uh, I'll pause for a minute and I'll be right back. Okay, poof, like Julia Childs. So uh, that's all screwed in there now, nice and tight. The shaft is here. You can turn that, I'll hear the motor turn a little bit. Now we wanna take the little collar piece, just drop that over the top. That's just a little spacer. It's not going to actually spin. If it does catch the plastic, it might spin a little bit. And then you'll see there's a, there's a, there's two holes in here. One is actually just to, well, just so it fits together. One, one snugs up against the collar and the other against the shaft. And uh, so now what you want to do is you want to put some pressure down, but you want to put in a, uh, a 10 millimeter screw again through the top here. Or you could have put a dab of glue on the end if you're doing the glue version or both. Um, I like to be able to take things apart so I will screw that down and I'll be back in a sec. Okay done and now if I turn this slowly you should be able to feel the motor turning. So now we're getting somewhere. Uh, next the this section hollowed out inside um, to allow you to run the hold the motor but also allow you to run the wires for the lights and um, we'll get to later I also have added uh, notches on the sides here to, to, to make it easier to get the angles and the, and the whole the acrylic uh, fins in there so uh, this is just a temporary wire hooked up for testing here you'll see there are some holes so again line it up inside kind of see the holes there um, yeah line it up inside two more m310 screw it all together as one piece We'll be right back.